when you add one massive neighbor to the sun, the equations didn't get harder, they changed character. Two bodies trace perfect ellipses forever, three bodies start sharing energy and angular momentum in ways that no single formula can capture. And when one of those bodies is Jupiter, 318 Earth's worth of pull, the subtle becomes significant over time. The headlines here are not about sudden doom, they're about time scales and subtlety. The inner planets, including Earth, have what we call a Lyapunov time of a few million years. That's the time over which two nearly identical solar systems, differing only by the thickness of a human hair and a planet's position, drift so far apart that their futures are effectively different. Newton's laws never change, but tiny nudges, asteroids, thermal forces, mutual tugs get amplified. We can predict eclipses centuries ahead with confidence. Extend that to tens of millions of years, and individual orbits become a blur of possibilities. If the equations are exact, why can't we know where Earth will be in a billion years? Because exact equations don't save you from exponential sensitivity. There's structure in the chaos, and that's the key. Mathematicians call it CAM theory. If the gravitational tugs are small, many orbits remain locked on quasi-regular tracks. But at special ratios, resonances, and the tracks develop cracks. Take the asteroid belt.